cute little mouse made of crystals and pixies in this video coming up. Hello, I'm Anastasia. Today we will be doing a nails using different colors, so one of them will be silver. And since the nails that we have are transparent, I will definitely need at least two coats. Also, I will be using dark green and red, because those are traditional holiday colors. By the way, these nails are made of Apri Gel X extensions which are kind of a new generation of press-on nails. And if you would like to watch a step-by-step -step tutorial with this shape, which is medium oval shape, I will definitely share it in my next video, so make sure to subscribe so you will not miss them. Each nail has a different color, so we have gray, red and green. Pinky and thumb are silver, so only two nails have the same color. After we cover them with two coats of color and fully cure it in the lamp and seal it with the top coat before we proceed to the design. By the way, this is a struggle sealing the silver glitter nail with a top coat because you can not really see where the nail ends, so make sure you cover everything. So no white top coats usually have a better shine, while regular top coats with a sticky layer tend to hold the crystals a little bit better. So fully cure it in the lamp, this is what we have, and now let's start with the design. I will use white gel paint, you can also use white gel or white gel polish, and first create some kind of a drop and fill it with the color. By the way, if you are happy with what you've done, I recommend you to freeze cure it immediately, because you can always clean it before you put it in the lamp, but once it's cured, it will stay there. I added black triangle to create her face and a tail. Oh my god, this actually looks like some computer mouse from the 90s now. Anyways, now I'm using an accents bling on gel and I cover the white part fully because I want to apply crystal pixies over there, so make sure it covers everything. Do not add too much at this moment, even if you want to create a really big mouse. I will show you how to make it bigger and more 3D later. So now apply crystal pixies, you can use any color, and the final look will also depend on the background color. So, for example, if I used black underneath, it will look a little darker. So now, with my finger, I simply set them up so they will not go on top of each other, so we will have like a flat mouse at the time, and also with a crystal katana pickup tool, I'm fixing the shape of the mouse and making her face a little longer, because I just realized that the ears and eyes that I plan to add there simply will not fit. So I'm using the bling on gel again, it is very thick, so it's ideal for applying this kind of crystals that are really big. So I used pearl hemispheres as an eyes, I think they perfectly fit and those large crystals are like ears of the mouse. Now fully cure it in LED for one minute, and now we need to fill up the space because the crystals, they are not flat on the mouse at the moment, and we need to fill this space and we can also add more crystal pixies on the top, so we will not just have something clear there. You can also add more rhinestones if you wish on her body, I bet this will look great as well. Don't forget to take the look from different angles so the mouse will not change its shape. Now fully cure again, and I decided to add a, one crystals and a few pixies on her tail. I mean, let's do a glamorous mouse, why not? With a black gel paint, I will add pupils into her eyes and a pixie as her nose. Now we need to add a mustache to make her recognizable, and then fully cure it for one minute in LED. Do not forget to seal it all with a top coat, all the pixies and the eyes, because we want them to stay there for a while. Do not forget to outline each pixie and crystals. Once you do that and fill all the spaces with gel or top coat, the crystals will stay there for weeks, trust me. And now we're done. What do you think? Does it actually look like a mouse? And I just realized this is the last video and tutorial in 2019. Thank you guys so much for watching and for being with me this year. I'm wishing you a happy new year and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!